Welcome to today's five-minute Bible study in the book of Ruth. We're looking at Ruth chapter 2. In yesterday's session, we saw that Ruth has begun to glean in the fields of Boaz. Now, she does not know the fields belong to Boaz. She does not even know who Boaz is, but he is a relative of her father-in-law. Now, all this is in the providential care of God, who is arranging for Boaz to be her redeemer. Now, when Boaz comes out to check on how the harvest is going, he notices Ruth gleaning in the fields, and he asked about her. Just then Boaz arrives from Bethlehem. He greets the harvesters. The Lord be with you. The Lord bless you, they answered. And he asked the overseer, who does that young woman belong to? And the overseer replied, she is the Moabite who came back from Moab with Naomi. She said, please let me glean and gather among the sheaves behind the harvesters. Now, when Boaz learns this, he is pleased because he's heard about Ruth and Naomi. Now remember, Bethlehem is a small village, and so certainly the news would have traveled fast when Naomi and Ruth arrived back in Judah. The story of what had happened to Naomi, the misfortune that had befallen her, and how she and her daughter-in-law, both widows, have returned to Bethlehem. Boaz would also have heard how Ruth is committed to Naomi. Now she has claimed the people of Judah for her very own and has refused to leave the side of Naomi. And now here's Ruth gleaning in the fields, working hard to provide food for herself and for Naomi. Boaz is very impressed with this young woman and it shows in what he says. So Boaz spoke to Ruth and said, my daughter, listen to me. Do not go and glean in any other fields. Don't go anywhere away from my fields. Stay here with the women who work with me. Watch the field where my men are harvesting and follow along after the women. I have told the men not to lay a hand on you. You'll be safe here. And if you are thirsty, go and get a drink from the water jars that my men have filled. Now Ruth bows down to the ground. She asked, why have I found such favor in your eyes that you would take notice of me? I am a foreigner. Boaz replies, I've been told about what you've done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband. How you left your father and mother and your homeland and your people and came to live with a people that you did not know before. May the Lord repay you for what you have done. May you be richly rewarded by the Lord, the God of Israel, under whose wings you have come to take refuge. So you see, Boaz does know all about Ruth. And he says, you are a godly woman. I have seen what kind of person you are and what I've heard about you, how you're devoted to Naomi and have now become part of our people. My prayer for you is that the Lord may bless you and reward you for the kindness you have shown to your mother-in-law. We also see in, in, in what Boaz does and what he says, the kind of person he is. He is a godly man. He is a man of character. He recognizes the worth of Ruth and who she is. And so he makes provision for her. Don't go to any of the fields. Don't glean in anyone else's fields, but in mine. My men will watch over you. I have given them orders that no one is to harm you. They will take care of you. You may harvest freely behind them. And you may drink from the water I provide for my men. And a little bit later he says, when it comes time to eat, you may eat from the provisions I make for my men. He is providing for her. He is caring for her. He even goes on to say to his harvesters, make sure you leave some behind that she might harvest it. She is a godly woman. I want her to get more than just the gleanings. Deliberately leave some behind so that she can have plenty in what she gleans. Now it says that after she had finished for the day, what she had gathered amounted to about 30 pounds. That's a sizable amount of harvest for a woman gleaning in the fields. But this is because of what Boaz has provided for her. He is truly a godly man. And then in verse 18 it says, She carries it back to town to her mother-in-law. And Naomi saw how much she had gathered. And her mother-in-law said, Where did you glean today? Where did you work? Who took notice of you and blessed you in this way? And she told her mother-in-law about the one at whose place she had been working. The name of the man I work for today is Boaz, she says. So when she gets home and she's got such a has such a good day and has so much harvest to bring home, Naomi says, someone must have been looking out for you. Whose field did you labor in? Boaz, she says. Now, Ruth doesn't know anything about Boaz except he's a godly man and had cared for her and provided for her. But Naomi knows who Boaz is and she realizes that God is at work. God is making providential care for her and for her daughter-in-law, Ruth. 
you know, we've seen earlier in the book that Naomi had begun to feel maybe God's not looking out for me anymore. Maybe the Lord's not watching over me. He's made my life bitter. But now she realizes God is arranging for her care. God has not forgotten her. He has arranged for her daughter-in-law to work in the field of Boaz, a relative of her husband. And God has arranged for them to have grain. God is taking care of her. And her faith is renewed. And she begins to see that God may be planning here a great act of redemption. Now, in tomorrow's session, we're going to see what Naomi tells Ruth about Boaz and how she begins to see that God is about to redeem them. We will look at that tomorrow. So join us for our next five-minute Bible study in the book of Ruth.